adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly I tell you, Today you will be with me in paradise. At Jesus' side are two men, one who mocks him and one who accepts his own punishment and recognises that Jesus has done no wrong. These two men, in some ways, represent our own attitudes to Christ. Sometimes we doubt him. Save us, help us, give us what we think we need, we say. At other times, we are only too aware of our own failings and of his perfection, and at times such as this, we know that we are worthy of condemnation and that we should should truly fear God. The only true response to Christ comes at the end of this passage, when the penitent thief The man who accepts the blame for himself cries out to the Lord, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. This is the only heart cry that we need ever make to God. Jesus, remember me. Remember me, Jesus. Lord Jesus, Even in your deepest agony, you listened to the crucified thief. Hear us as we unburden to you our deepest fears. You spoke words of love in your hour of death. Help us to speak words of life to a dying world. To you, Jesus, who offer hope to the hopeless, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and for ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Mm